Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. I want to give a special shout out to James Reed who have been watching the videos on this channel ever since a month and a half when I started this YouTube channel. And I want to say thank you very much to James Reed if you are watching this video. Thank you so much. I really do thank you. And I want to say thank you to all of the people who come by and visit this channel. And you take out of your busy time to comment on this channel that it is a very good channel or this is a very good video. And I want to say thank you to all of the subscribers on this channel. And I want to also say thank you to all of the faithful subscribers on this channel that faithfully comment and take their time out of their day to comment on the videos that I make on this channel. I really do thank you and I really appreciate it. And I want to talk to all of you people out there that is watching this video about a lifelong lesson ever since when I was growing up that it has been embedded in me. And this is the ant and the grasshopper which is the same relation to the ant mentality and the grasshopper mentality. But today I'm just going to talk about the ant. If you ever noticed an ant, it is focused, it is consistent, it is always working, and it always prepares, and it never worries. That's right. These are the four things that it's always doing. And... I'm going to sit here and say this, that these four things that the ant always do, they always do it day in and day out until winter time comes because the ant does not know when winter time is going to come around or come around its backyard. And when winter time always come around its backyard, or when it comes, it always rests, rest at that particular moment. But at that same moment when winter time is going on, it never worries. The reason why it doesn't worry is because of all that consistency, all that time of being focused, all that time of wor working, and all that time of preparing. They ha that ant had put in in order to be ready for the winter time. They ain't even thinking anything about winter no more because it has prepared. And then when winter time has ceased, then the ant go back and do the same thing again, which is being consistent, always working, always preparing, and never worrying. And I sit here and I tell all of you people, it is time to embrace the ant mentality in your life. In one instance, embrace the ant mentality when it comes to working and being focused towards your goals. Never stop being working towards your goals or your objective because yes there might be a day or so that you need to rest from working from that goal or that particular objective do so but get back up and start being consistent and start being focused and continue to work towards that goal until it's accomplished and the second thing that I enjoy about the ant mentality is always have the preparing mentality, which is always thinking about the what ifs, getting ready for a possible situation that might come into your backyard that you don't even know when it might come. And you won't even have to worry about it. When you have that mentality, you won't have these worries going up into your mind. For you to further understand this, let me give you this. 
and give you this point. Let's say, for instance, that you are working for a company. You have a job. And you get this revelation that you need to start saving up for money for a rainy day. That first year you are at that job. And six years later, as you are working for that job, then a boss or a, a particular manager sit there and say to you, out of nowhere, and you didn't even see this coming, today is your last day and we enjoyed you, and they sit there and say all these nice things to uplift you and everything, but only thing, when they're saying those words, you're sitting there saying, hmm, go on and lay me off. I ain't, I ain't got no care for it. Because you know why? You don't have a care for it, and you don't have no worry. It's simply because you laid up six years worth of money in your bank account, and you ain't even bothered with it because... It can help you get through not worrying about the bills and about getting food on your table. And I'm just going to sit here and tell you this, that I have the ant mentality. I do. When it comes to I want to focus on a particular goal or a particular objective or my mission, I go at it. But... The thing about it is, I don't never reveal it. I like it for it to be a shocker to people. Because I know a lot of you people out there, you like to reveal your goals and like to disclose your goals to end and every person. I don't because I'm a very low-key person. I don't like everybody knowing what my mission is or what my goal or what my objectives are. That's just me. I know some of you are different, but that's just me because I'm a very low-key person. I remember one time, I'm just going to tell you this short story. I remember one time, because I'm, I was working two full-time jobs. I remember this. I was working in the morning at a warehouse and then working in the evening at the theaters as a supervisor. And I remember that morning job, working 10 hours a day, 7 days a week. And there was one morning, I remember it was like 3 o'clock in the morning because I just got off that morning job around 1 o'clock in the morning. I was tired as hell. Came up in there, so tired and everything. Supervisor asked me what was wrong with me and everything. And then, like, sleeping and stuff like that and everything. And I sit there and she was asking me, was I tired? I said, yeah, and then... Later on, as I was watched being tired, she told me to go on home. And I went home. Yes, I did. I went home. And I sat there and slept. It was around, I believe, 5 o'clock in the morning, two hours later or something like that. But I sat down in that bed sleeping. And I believe it was 1 o'clock in the evening time or 2 o'clock in the evening time before I got up, before I had to be at that other job at 6 o'clock. And as I got up, <laughs> I sit there and I said, fuck that morning job. Fuck it. And the reason why I sit there and I said that this is not work working to full-time job is because I had saved up a whole bunch of money. And I ain't even have to worry about it. Even, like I said, I didn't have to worry about it at all. I didn't. And, and I sit there, was chill, relaxed, sitting on my ass for a moment. And you got to be like that sometimes too. When a job or something like that lays you off and you are already prepared for it. When, it, when you done saved enough money. You got to sit on your ass sometimes and chill sometimes. Hell. And, and get back up and do it again. But I'm just going to go on ahead and cut this video short. And for those who watch this video and for those who like this video, I give you the invitation to please subscribe to this channel. And thank you and have a great and awesome day.